You're watching the second video in a series of tutorials to help you learn how to use Filmora 9, the fun to use, easy to learn video editor for all creators. By watching our tutorials, you can learn everything you need to know to create your own videos in Filmora 9. Hey everyone, I'm Caleb, and I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step creating a new project in Filmora 9. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to create a project and change your project settings. If you already saw the interface tutorial, feel free to skip this part. As soon as you open up Filmora, you're going to see this window here. On the right side, you can open up recent projects and quickly get to work. On the left, you can open a project you already have or start a new one. In this drop-down menu, you can pick your aspect ratio for your project. As default, it's set to 16 by 9 because that's a very common aspect ratio for films. But not everyone that edits wants to use this aspect ratio. So we have a few other options here, along with 1 by 1 for an Instagram post, 9 by 16 for an Instagram story or any other vertical video, and there's also two other common options here, 4 by 3 and 21 by 9. If you have a different aspect ratio in mind, you can change it once we get inside the project. A tip for me would be to leave it as 16 by 9 for now if you don't know what your aspect ratio is. So if we click New Project, we're inside Filmora 9 looking at our new project. Filmora 9 is not going to name your project until you import some media into it. So if you saw our tutorial on the interface of Filmora, you can easily find where to import some media at this big window here. We're going to click on that and find a clip to add to our project. I'll go more in depth with importing in another tutorial. For now we only need one clip. After we have media in our project, we can go to the top left corner where it says File and click Save Project As, and go ahead and name the project and save it where you want to keep it. After that, we can go up to File again and go to our project settings. Here we can change the aspect ratio to something custom by going into this drop down menu. We can change the resolution with this drop down menu, and we can choose whatever resolution we want for our project. 1920 by 1080 is a standard for YouTube, television, and even movies. Most cameras these days record in this resolution. Even your smartphone most likely defaults to capturing video in 1920 by 1080, so this is usually a good choice. If you have a camera that shoots 4K, then you can select that as well. This will be a much bigger file for your computer to handle, and most people don't have a 4K display to view the video on. If you want to put the video online, however, or want to give your computer an easier time exporting, you can use 1280 by 720 This resolution still looks pretty good and will save you time while exporting and uploading. Under that, we choose the frame rate of our video. Most smartphones record at 30 frames per second. However, the standard for filmmaking is usually 23.978. The frame rate you want might take a little bit of research, but it's important to find out what frame rate you shot your footage in. Don't worry about it if you don't know what the settings of your video should be. When you first drop a clip into your timeline, Filmora 9 will ask you if you want to change the project settings to match with the clip you dragged in, and I'll show you that now. As you can see, by dragging the clip down to the timeline, it opened this window here. I can choose to change it, leave it, or click this check here if I don't want the program to ask anymore. One thing you want to do every time before you leave the program is make sure you save your project again. You can do that by using Control s on Windows or Command s on Mac to quickly save the project. Alternatively, you can go up to the file menu at the top left. And last but not least, there's also a little button at the top right corner and it lets you save your project wherever you want as well as change the name, if you haven't already named the project. Thanks for watching! Check out our other tutorials to learn how to edit a video from start to finish on Filmora 9.